Why? What's wrong with switch statements? What's that? They break. Why do they break? Oh, but you might forget them, yes. Okay, good. So switch statements. What goes wrong with switch statements? What They do more than one thing. That's true. So let's say that we've got a switch statement. This switch statement switches on, oh, the type of a shape. So there's a, a shape, and it's, there's an enum somewhere that uh, defines circle and square and triangle and so on, traditional kind of, kind of objects. And you've got a switch statement that switches on this shape type. And in fact, how many such switch statements will there be in the system? Because your system deals with shapes. How many such switch statements will there be? Well, you're going to have to have a switch statement when you draw a shape. You'll have to have another one when you rotate a shape, and another one when you erase a shape, and another one when you drag a shape, another one when you stretch a shape. In fact, every time you do anything to a shape, you'll have to have a switch statement. Now, what goes wrong? You add a new type of shape. What happens when you add a new type of shape? You've got to find all the switch statements. You've got to go through the whole code. You've got to find all the switch statements. Are you going to find them all? Are they all switch statements? They might. Some of them might be if-else statements. And then there's this problem. Rotate shape. What do you do in the circle case? Nothing. There's no case for the circle. So the programmer does some nice logical optimizations. Here's the problem now, right? You've got to add a new type of shape, a rhombus. And you've got to find every switch statement in the system. And you've got to investigate every switch statement in the system, logically decoding them to make sure you put the rhombus part in in just the right place. And this is fragile. This breaks. It's hard to do. It causes lots of difficulties. What's the solution? Polymorphism is the solution. Of course, we don't want to have a switch statement. We want to have a base class called shape, and we want to have subclasses for triangle and circle and square and rectangle and all of these interesting derivatives, and then we can put all of those functions into the derivatives. We can put the draw function and the rotate function and the drag function and the square function. All of those functions can go into the derivatives. And now what happens when we add a new shape? What changes in the system when we add a new shape? We have to add a new, tr a new file, new class, new subclass, yes. But nothing else in the system changes. There are no switch statements. The switch statements are all gone. Nothing else in the system changes. This is called the open-close principle. And the open-close principle says that a system, a module, should be open for extension but closed for modification. You should be able to extend the behavior of a module without modifying that module. And how do you do that? Well, you do that by creating base classes and having derivatives. Our system can now be extended with new shapes without modifying anything in the system. We have to add something to the system, but we don't have to modify anything. This is one of the reasons we don't like switch statements. 